What's going on YouTube? Back here doing things with my truck again. This time, doing taking another little uh, painting approach, but doing it different. Um, as you can see, got my tape up here. Starting to tape off my nice shiny chrome grill. I hate chrome. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Some people love it. I just, I don't like it. Um, but it just looks kind of dumb. I never liked the front bumper uh, in general. So my first thought was, Let's paint the white on the front bumper black. And then I thought, wait a minute, my buddy's been trying to get me to plasti dip everything. Let's plasti dip it. That way, if I don't like it, I can just pull it right off. If you're unaware of this stuff, it is like a plastic. It's not really paint. It's like a plastic type stuff. You put it on and you give it a little aggravation and uh, pull on it and it'll pop right off. Should, in theory, if you do enough coats, according to the people that know what they're talking about. But anyway, so I thought about this white on the front bumper, turning that black, and then I thought, well, why not just do the entire bumper? I don't like the chrome down below either, and the bottom little air dam is black, so, and the hooks right there are black. Let's do black. And then I thought, better yet, let's get rid of this chrome uh, grill here. So, that's the plan. Set the GoPro up, and gonna continue on uh, taping this thing up getting it all prepped and uh yep got some plastic laying on the ground over there left over from the fender flares that's what uh, they got shipped in so that's what i'm gonna use to tape up my car so we don't get any overspray anywhere that's the plan and we all know what a plan is so let's see how that turns out Alrighty, a little bit of an update here on the progress put my bead of tape down on the grill, put the plastic down over top of it, put more tape over top of it, tape down the entire thing because some of it was uh, actually lifting up and it probably would get overspray onto the paint. But uh, yeah, we're pretty ready to go right now. I've got my light covered up. Uh, somewhat of a double-sided tape job here on the bottom. I believe this side's going to be okay. Um, <laughs> that was another thing. I haven't prepped anything. They say you don't have to prep it, so I'm not going to. That was the... Uh, the next thing that was actually making me a little happy about making this decision here, um, this side, ugh, probably gonna have to do a little bit more work over here, I guess. But other than that, we're ready to go. I got some plastic on the tires, just in case, and that's it. So let's skip to the GoPro and let's see what happens. Yes, I am gonna paint that chrome Dodge emblem there too, just because.
Alrighty, here we are a few coats later, and I'm pretty doggone impressed. Uh, it's not the best looking paint job. I don't know if that's showing up, but right in here I've got all kind of stuff going on. Probably need to just hit it real quick uh, whenever I'm done, done. A um, couple little things, like right there is an imperfection where I put too much on, but that is not bad for having an imperfection. You can see I didn't even remove the spider webs that were on here. <laughs> but I'm pretty impressed. So, okay, I'll just shut that. That's what it's going to look like here very shortly. Very cool. All right, well, I'm impressed enough with the front. I'm moving on to the rear. We're going to do the back bumper, too. All right, I guess I should have went ahead and shown it off before I painted, huh? So, all right, that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I've got black plastic on a chrome bumper. That's what I'm working with here. Not for long. That's going to be all black. Taped up my uh, license plate lights. I taped up these two bolts that were behind the license plate uh, just because I don't want to get uh, paint all over them. Why not? Uh, it was pretty easy to do. And I taped up this little thing because there are uh, wiring diagram on the outside of that. And even though it'll probably bleed through with the paint on there, I figured, what the heck, let's just not do that. We'll do everything else around it, probably including that spring right there, so maybe I have to put another piece of tape on there. But yeah, not prepped, not ready to go. Let's do it. Alrighty, here we are. No more chrome. We got black on the bumper now. Looking really nice. That's looking great. The front. Look at those tires. Woo. The front is looking really cool. Totally different look here now. Now we got the whole black on white look, which is exactly what I was going for. No more chrome in the front. One problem I did see, I covered these hooks up and everything. Yes, I have paint all over my hands. Um, <laughs> considerably less than whenever I wore rubber gloves and did the other one. Um, did the tires, that is. But these guys and this metal right here, you can't really see it because the light is awesome right now. Um, but it it's still looking metal looking so i am going to come back there's a couple spots like right there right here 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 and here where the plastic bag was touching so because i'm not going to uh need that plastic bag anymore i can just go ahead and spray right in there and uh cover up everything Oop, just noticed right here i have a little mark right here as well actually it looks like a bubble so i might have to rip that off and just redo the whole part there but overall very nice. Loving the black grill now. Forgot to pull my cardboard out of the grill. Need to do that. All right. Well, that was it. That was uh, another step. I wasn't even planning on this step and just did it anyway. But this is another step of my transformation here. Uh, what would that be? Uh, three. So this is step four of who knows how many things that we're going to have here uh, that we're going to do to the truck. Focus camera. Come on now. Come on, what are you doing? I don't know what the camera's doing. Okay. Anyway, that was my look around, checking out my truck and my quick little paint job from start to finish. It probably only took me like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours at the most, something like that. So if you're thinking about it, go for it. Prep time was most of all of that time. I pretty much videoed most of the stuff that I was recording. So, uh, yeah, speed that down five times, and that's how long it took me. All right, well, that was my look around my truck here, making it look better, newer, different. I don't know. Different. We'll just go with that one. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, if you didn't catch out any or catch any of the other videos of what I'm doing to the truck, I got a bunch of other videos. Put dual exhaust on it last time. Time before that, we put these cool fender flares on there. Time before that, we 
went ahead and sanded down the tires and everything and painted it down. So I will have a recap of uh, how much everything cost at the very end of part one. And that'll be coming sometime soon. But man, does that look really, really cool. So I'm really happy about this. Even if it was black spray paint and it came out this way, i uh, really impressed. Oh, what was there? One more thing right in here. Uh, it doesn't even look like it's showing up on the camera. Ooh, that does. Got a little rip right over there. Have to fix that. Ooh, and right here. Ugh, I did a bad job. But, um, yeah, I had a couple of spots right over here not looking so good. So I think I'm just going to come in with some tape, put the tape around the bottom of the light, and then spray it that way. That way it'd be a lot easier. But don't need to show you guys that. That is uh, pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to have to pop that cardboard out of the uh, grill there so I can actually get airflow to the engine. And that's it for this video, so thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, throw a comment down below. Let me know what you want to Plasti Dip, because <laughs> I want to Plasti Dip everything. I'm actually very convinced I this is not a plan or anything, but I think I might do the whole hood in black, and then if I do the hood, I might do the top of the roof there in black. I don't know. These are just uh, ideas I'm throwing out because I really like the way this thing looks. So, never know. I might go and paint the entire truck black. Who knows? But, if I do that, you'll see that on my channel. So, subscribe, and I will catch y'all. Oh, yeah, don't forget to do all the fun, happy social media stuff down below. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Till then, later. What's going on, YouTube? Back out here doing... Aw, oh, man. Dag on wind. Alright, well, wait a second. My plastic's blowing away. My plastic's blowing away.